going on today guys Brian here Brian little garage well as you can see the old Terra X is back in the building she went under the knife and we found the problem get you back over here and show you this gear right here is missing quite a few teeth off of it not sure how many exactly but uh probably at least <laughs> between six and eight maybe ten but i've got a few of them right here and i'm sure there's more down in there so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be pulling this flywheel off i've already I didn't video taking the side case off, draining fluids. I didn't do any of that because there's videos out there with that on there. Uh, so, yeah, I've got the puller. Let me take you over here and I'll show you what parts we got. We have our Bike Master flywheel puller. flywheel puller it's a 35 millimeter this works for i believe in the description i got it off ebay i believe it works on yamaha and kawasaki's so there's the size and this is a you know a terex 750 and i believe the the uh, honda prairies the four wheelers it's the same same issue i saw videos that had the same issue on there for that Here's the next box of goodies. We got our gears. We've already opened this up. Uh, our gasket. And then there's the main gear that stripped. And then this is the one-way bearing. I went ahead and got it as a set. I got it off of eBay also for 68 bucks. Uh, this pull this off of eBay. I think I got found it for $29 um, and then also the water pump full water pump set gasket the oil seal bearing uh, and then this is actually the water pump seals right here in that we'll get that out a little later I also picked up phone cord all the way service repair manual um, this is a must-have if, if you've got a four-wheeler motorcycle dirt bike whatever get you one of these because it will pay for itself if you're if you do your own work if you don't um, then just take it to a repair shop and have them do it but you know when things are tight money's tight and you're on a budget and you got to do things yourself get you one of these because I mean it, it takes you from the front to the back you know everything how to pull the engine out doing clutch work everything um, this I got all found on Amazon for I think it was $49 with tax everything and they come to like 50 53 dollars or something like that well worth it believe me well worth it I will give you some advice if you go on like eBay or Amazon either one you will find they will have the manual on a disc, a disc drive, which I don't have a computer anymore. It takes a disc drive, which I had a disc and I lost it. So then I had purchased one where you could actually download a PDF file of it. I did that. But for some reason, it worked fine for a while. But then some reason, when I went back to use it here, it said I could not open that PDF file. So I don't know if it's one of them deals where uh, it's something that, after a while it kind of disappears and you don't get to use it anymore because those are only like nine dollars but anyway i'm not gonna go into all that so i bought a hard copy that's what i wanted to begin with so that's what i got um so yeah let's see of course got all the tools oh i did pick me up a new tool here picked me up a new dewalt this is the 9CF921B, half inch impact. 
to just a touch shorter than that big daddy right there isn't it but still uh 300 max fastening torque and 450 breakaway torque and that that should be plenty i wished i would have had this when i was taking the flywheel bolt out because i had to try to finag on get this big unit in here i had to use a warble head and extension and all that to get it in there um but yeah so we picked this up one of those that little jewel right there this head from this tip to the back is only 4.95 inches which makes it really nice and i'll show you over here this is the side case off when there's your stator in there i had it covered up because i went ahead already and cleaned the services off this is the stuff i'll be replacing for the water pump this bearing and then there's a seal under it and then here on the other side that unit right there pops out we're replacing all of that that's the old gasket but yeah i went ahead and cleaned all this up already and got it ready to go um and another big thing that helps on these kind of jobs that little tool right there with a wire brush little wire metal wire wheel um I went through here and tried to scrape and you can see I scraped off what I could with the razor blade but these things are not perfect and it wouldn't get it all so you fire up that little Dremel right there and uh, that little sucker right there just cleaned everything right up and you can see it's nice and clean shiny once I went around wire wheeled it I took some brake clean and just wiped it off and then any spots I missed I just went back over and touched them up the only place this is the water jacket this is where the water flows up from the water pump and comes that goes into the motor so I will probably be putting a little bit of sealant around that because I definitely don't want any kind of a leak there and I'll be putting a little bit of sealant across these two here for oil um, but yeah that, that's where I'm at so far so what I was going to bring you guys along for today is we're going to take that unit right there and I'm going to clamp you up there on the side by side and try to get you an angle where you can see and then we're going to remove that flywheel and get that gear and all that stuff off because once that's off then I've got to find the rest of those teeth and once I find those uh, then I've got to start cleaning that surface up along around that case part of the case and uh, so we can start putting her back together but now probably I won't film me going around and cleaning that casing off because that's just gonna be a time-consuming thing I'll just be you know trying to scrape off what I can and then take the wire wheel and go around it and uh, get all that taken care of but so without further ado let's just go ahead and get you mounted up over here find a good spot for you so you can see everything and we'll go from there probably right there is going to be the best place get you clamped up here and let's see if I can get you a good angle and I'll try not to get my big head in the way alright let me grab my tools All right, so the first thing we gotta do, that's your flywheel bolt, that's your main bolt, hold your flywheel and stuff on. We've gotta put this back in, so then that bolt right there has something to press against to pop it off. That's gonna go right in there. You can see this? blue rag I have right here that's that water port and this thing keeps seeping antifreeze out of it and it's driving me nuts it should already be done and it's not so I'm gonna have to make sure that I can get that totally dry before I put that new seal and stuff back on there try to get this water Go. 
I'll screw this out. We'll screw this up as far as we can. Got a good hold on it there. And we'll run this in until that touches. Now I just take a big crescent wrench and put it on here. Try not to get in your way so you can see. This thing actually feels like it's, it is not. Okay. And you just gotta start tightening this down until it pops. I do not want to bust my knuckles on that, that's for sure. Okay, sorry about that video cut off on me. Well, I can't get this thing broke loose, both of my hands, so I'm resorting to little mini me here, and let's see if we can't get her broke loose with this unit. It's gonna be kinda tricky. There it is. That's what it took. Now if I can get it out of here. Man, that's a nice little unit right there. This thing is does have a keyway on it here. I'll screw this big unit back out. Okay, so now this gear comes off when that comes off. And looks like it's Put a few little marks on that, but other than that, that doesn't look bad. We'll definitely lay it to the side, and I'll check it out. Found uh, <laughs> two more teeth. So that's five. Get this rest way off here. There she is. Oh man, we're missing quite a few off of that. Look at that. That looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. So it looks like I've got six more teeth to try to find before I put this thing back together. <laughs> that is not good. But this is original equipment, and like I said, this is a 2008 model. So, yeah. Uh, let me go set this down on the bench, and I'll come back and grab you and give you a little look-see down in there. And we'll go from there. oil off my hands here okay might be shaky for just a second oh there we go now you can't see real good down there this is part of the oiling chain and I'll get a magnet and a light Let's see it's sticky in that way little sideways action but I'll definitely get a magnet and a light and get in there and see what we can find um, I know when I drained the oil out of it there wasn't anything come out in the oil as far as because I would have heard it drop on the plastic pan but uh, all right that's gonna be it for right now I'm gonna do a little poking and prodding around looking for them 
pieces and uh, then I'll bring you back when we're ready to put the new stuff on the flywheel so hold tight all right guys we're back getting ready to put the flywheel here put the new one-way bearing back on got the new gear opened up so we had to put some Loctite on these bolts this thing being magnetic it's going to be hard to get this back piece on I like never got it off and we'll stick a couple bolts in Try to get them started in this piece that centers it up. Yeah. Pretty much fell right in. It's just a little off center. I'm just going to try to see if I can't finagle it. Go on, get my belt. There's a one-way bearing installed. Now it tells you to put some motor oil on it, 10W40. So we'll put oil back on that before we put it in. But I am going, the book tells you to torque it to 34 Newton meters or 25 inch pounds. So I've set this up to 25 inch pounds. I don't know if I can hold this and do it or not. Come on, I guess I'll try it and see. I'm using that impact on it there, it should have. Yeah, I can't hold it, keep it from, from twisting. So one way would be put it back on the bike and try it or on the side by side and try to do it that way. I hate to put it in the vise because I don't want to mess up that magnet. But other than that, I don't know of any other way. Or at least I can't think of any other way right now to do it.
close. They have to be close. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Ma? Should I try to put her in the vise? And... Try it that way. I got a silent partner here videoing for me. My best half, I guess. Well, ain't no guessing to it. I know it is. <laughs> I have to clean it out to groove where the keyway goes. All right, uh, I'm just going to hit it a couple more times with the torque wrench and or with the uh, impact and call it good. I've moved a little bit. Put the lock tight on there. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about those coming off. Alright. So, that done. We're going to spill a little bit of oil in it. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in the bearing here so it's not dry Also put a little bit of oil on the inside here on this. I'll just work it around with my finger. Just get her a little, a little bit. back in and that should only turn one way. When the engine's turned, it'll turn that way. And when it starts, when the starter turns it, it'll turn. You hear it, you know, turn it, it'll start, and then once it starts, the flywheel will turn and that bearing lets that gear sit still. It just sits there like that while that turns. This is the other part of the gear that gets into that. Just want to put a little bit of oil on this for. See, it has to go in at the same time that this has to go in. All right, I'm ready to stick this back on there. I already went around, cleaned all the case up, took a Dremel to it, got all that surface clean. So that part's ready to go. The other half of the case is ready to go other than changing out the seal and stuff, which that's what we're going to do here in a minute. But now we're just going to stick this back on and uh, this part will be done. Stick this in here, the keyway, right there. Now this gear almost simultaneously has to go in together. Lined up 
that key weighs. So that part is done. That's all fixed now. It's we'll start. So now we get the other half of the case ready, and then we can get ready to slap that back on, and we'll be almost done. All right. So now we're getting ready to pull the bearing and seal out for the water pump. This bearing going to pull it out. The way it tells you in the manual to do it is to run, they have a special tool you run through from the outside to pop the bearing out. And then you're supposed to drive the seal and the water pump seal, main water pump seal out through the, from the inside out. So what I'm gonna do, I have these bearing pullers. Got this kit off of eBay a long time ago. But these basically, you just stick them in the bearing. Tighten this down and it expands and grabs a hold of the bearing. Grabs a hold of the bearing like that. Give it one more turn. All it does is it spreads those out so you can grab a hold of the bearing. Then you take this slide hammer like they use for body work, screw that in the top, and you can see I took clamps to clamp this down to the bench to hold it. And then you just basically Clamps come loose. And so far it ain't good because the bearing ain't come out. Usually that would have already popped up now. That's not going to work. Never experienced one that tight. Alright guys, back in the shop. Sorry. Video cut off on me. Said my phone was full, so I've had to go through and delete a bunch of stuff and get it freed up. Anyway, uh, before the video cut off, we were trying to pull this bearing out with a bearing puller. And I could not get it out. So I flipped it over, took a punch, run through, give it a couple taps, and the bearing popped right out. Uh, I've got the new bearing installed, the seal installed, and the new water pump seal. Uh, show you the old stuff. A little dark over here. There's the seal that was behind the bearing. That thing doesn't look very good. And then this was the water pump seal stuff. I think this water pump seal was getting ready to go out on us anyway. Because this should not remove from that. And uh, it had popped right out when I first took it off. And the new one is glued down in there. And I could see remnants of glue on this one. And plus there was 
a little bit of antifreeze in this weep hole right here when I was under there changing the oil. So I think it was getting ready to go. So, but anyway, we got this all cleaned up. I cleaned up the surfaces, getting ready to put some uh, Permatex. I know you can't read that very well because it's, it's squished up. Optimum Max Flex Gasket Maker. And this is uh, oil resistance. So I'm going to use a little bit of it on here and then on the engine case. Got that all wiped off, cleaned up. Got the new gear in. Flywheel's back on there. Also, when I was trying to torque those, uh, uh, the bolts down to hold the one-way bearing on, um, on the table, I couldn't do it. So when I put it back on here, I went ahead and tried it and was able to actually torque them. And they were all torqued but one. It only turned about a, maybe a quarter of a turn before it clicked. So those are all good to go. So I'm not going to video putting the gasket sealer on there. I'll start the video back up when I'm ready to put the case on because I'll have to get all that put on there and then let it set up, uh, let it tack up, and then I'll put the gasket on and then put the other side case back on and, and uh, yeah, go from there. So I'll bring you guys back here shortly. Just hang on. All right, we're back. And... Got all the gasket sealer on there. Put the gasket on. Got it setting up on here. Got the side case ready. I've got everything oiled up the way it should be. Put some oil on this little shaft here for the water pump. Uh, to help the seal and stuff slide on easier. So now we're ready to put this side cover on. Just kind of overlooking, double checking, thinking, making sure I got everything done on the inside here before I do anything else and but yeah we're ready to stick her on so let me grab the case and we'll stick it on there See if we can get this unit finagled in here without knocking off any of my sealant. It's going to be a little harder than it looks. There we go. Have to try to get this water pump lined up. Now that thing came. Right out of there. This has got to go down more. So, oh, there it goes. Okay, water pump shaft's in. At least it's where it's supposed to be going. I want to be very careful with that because I do not want to mess that seal up, that's for sure. Probably got to get it just right to go on that shaft. Hope my head's not in the way. And that thing just oh, there it goes. Boom, just like that. That quick, she's on there. That's through. All right, so now we can start getting our bolts and sticking our bolts in this thing. Now, as you can see here, I had made this little template. Let me pull the camera back. Outlined the case and then put the bolts where they were supposed to go because my memory isn't the greatest anymore. <laughs> it's 
So now we'll just start sticking the bolts in her, and then we'll get the water pump stuff on, and uh, she should be buttoned up. And then we can just be a matter of putting all the hooking up all the connections and putting antifreeze back in her. Well, that's going to be another one. I'm going to have to pull that whole hood off that thing to do that. So uh, let's get some bolts in this thing. Here's the. This goes on the end of the, uh, what's your flywheel bolt goes up against. I guess it's just a spacer. I greased that seal in there, put grease all in it. So when I put this in, there'll be grease all around that. And there, it's in there. All right, so let's start sticking some bolts in her. Now, some of the bolts, like here, actually go through the water pump housing to hold it on. So they're they're with the water pump housing right now. Just gonna get these started. I mean, it's kind of obvious you can tell where their short ones go, where their long ones go, but just for my peace of mind, I was like, nah, I'm just going to go ahead and make me up a little unit here so I know for sure where they go. All right, that's all the long ones. Everything else now will be short. Yeah, it started. I need me a socket over here to do this, don't I? Now I've got three more and these go down on the bottom, so not very exciting to see bolts going in anyway. Okay, the other two I'm going to have to <clears throat> get down here on the floor and get them from underneath. All the bolts are in now I just need to start running them in snug them up and uh, then we'll torque them down I've already got the uh, torque wrench set and then we can go about putting the water pump on or the impeller and then the housing and yeah she'll be uh, She'll be almost done. 
and I got to get the flywheel bolt. I'll go ahead and get that and screw that in. utilize my impact here a little bit possibly didn't say anything in the manual about putting any kind of uh, like Loctite uh, on the crank bolt so I'm not going to put any on it I know I'm supposed to have a special tool to hold that while I do it and I'm, I might end up having to try to find one I just I'm going to try to do it with the impact. Hold on to it. Sometimes I'm organized, sometimes I'm not. I'm going to turn this down low I just want to snug them up oops This definitely makes faster work of this, that's for sure. And this being on low, I'm not putting too much torque on it. This just gets everything. I think I already did that one. Uh, I think I already got all these top ones, didn't I? Now I gotta do the ones down underneath by hand. Yeah, these two, you got the exhaust right in the way. slowly but surely that one I'm just all the way in got that one in see if I can do it Here's gonna be a pain in the butt. Got the hose in the way. I have to try to run it in my hand. Can you hear me? I almost got her. for this one. Maybe not. Yeah, 
I'm still fighting with. It's just in an awkward place, and then you got this radiator hose or a hose from the coolant system here in the way. I guess I could have took the hose all the way off the other end of the pipe there and done it, but I just don't remember it being this difficult when I took it off. getting there. Almost. Using one of these little flex joints that let you bend out of the way. Sometimes it makes it easier, sometimes it makes it harder. Alright. That one there is probably pretty much torqued. That one too. So I'll grab a torque wrench here and go ahead and torque these. extension here. See, it didn't even There it is. And that's supposed to be 8.8 .8 Newton meters. Which, well, mine, I don't know if you can see it right here. Newton meters. Mine has an 8.69, and then it jumps to a 10.39. So... I ran it up. Hopefully I got it right. I mean, I know I didn't over tighten them because nothing snapped off, but I ran it up. You have numbers down here on this part. There's zero and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. goes all the way up to 14. I ran it up to eight. And I should have just got my little manual out and read it, but I'm pretty sure that that is... Right. If it's not, somebody sees this, I'm sure they'll they'll tag me on it and say, nope, you're not right. Uh, 
Let's see. We got, which I'll go back over them again. This one here I can get. You can see the gasket squishing out. an extension on this that one. Yeah. Uh, let's tighten up Get this one. underneath are going to be a pain in the butt but what I'll end up doing is letting this sit for a little bit and then I'll go back over those again and uh, just you know to double check but everything oh, that one there is still did I not hit that one could have swore I hit that one that's from a the ground there I don't want to tighten that up So like I said, I'll go back over and check all these again after this sets for a little bit. Make sure everything's tight. I'm gonna break it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and break out the big impact and go ahead and hit that. It's set on two at max torque. We'll put it on one here for right now. I'd say that's probably going to be tight enough here, but we will double check it with the torque wrench. Now I've got to find some antifreeze because on this seal, Let me get you. Let me unhook here. You're going to shake a second. Here we go. You can see the seal right here. There's a seal inside the impeller or you know, a seal. And it, I, I, I don't know if it's a plastic piece or a ceramic, but anyway, it tells you to put a little bit of um, coolant on those two surfaces before you put them together so uh, to act like a, a lubricant. So, I've got to find some coolant, and we'll get that back on there. This is probably going to be it. The majority of it's back together. Other than this, it's just sticking the impeller on, um, torquing it down. It torques to 8.8 .8 newton meters also, and then the gasket, the cover, hooking the hose back up, and then putting all the plastics back on, and all right guys so she's back together uh sorry i didn't film any more the camera cut off on me there last night and uh but anyway she's back together and i've had it fired up today and everything seems to be working like it should i have no leaks which is great bled the uh, cooling system all that's topped off uh so yeah that's it for this video uh, if you like what you saw like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, probably the next video is going to be on the carburetors. I'm going to pull the carburetors off and clean those. Uh, take the bowls off and blow out the jets. So, yep, thanks for watching. See you. <laughs>